Hello folks, this is Kip Charles here, and I have a very interesting uh, comparison that I'd like to share with you today. I had um, two leads come in for two separate customers. Both of them are in the same business, one's in Maryland, one's in Philadelphia, and I wanted to share with you two different ways that people handle a phone lead and the difference that it makes in, in your business, the difference that it makes in your uh, level of professionalism and your and your approach. Both of them are fairly successful, but it just makes a huge difference how you handle this lead. And so I'd like for you to I'd like to share this with you today in hopes that you can learn something from it because that's the purpose of our relationship, right? For me to share information that helps you to be better as Kelsey ruins my recording. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Thank you for calling. To ensure the highest level of customer care, this call may be recorded. Please hold while we connect your call. Four rings is too long, guys, by the way. All things new, this is Willie. Oh, hi there. Um, just calling to get some information about, um, sounds like you've used everything, basically. <laughs> is that correct? Like plumbing, electricity? Well, no, not, well, kind of. Um, basically, you know, we're handyman service, and we provide handy, we, we provide remodeling as well as handyman services in a wide variety of things. But, like, uh, for as far as electricity, We'll do like uh, replacing an outlet or putting in a light, replacing a light. But like for heavy duty um, things, you know, we're, requires running um, power from the panel to to a particular part of the house. Those types of things, uh, we hire a uh, subcontractor to do those uh, to do that type of electrical work, as right, well right. as the same thing with plumbing. But the the, the handyman stuff, put the ceiling fan, replacing the light fixtures, those types of things we do. Right, and what about like flooring, that kind of thing, or would that be more of a... I'm, I'm uh, sorry, flowing? Flowing, like ripping up a floor and... Oh, flooring, yes, 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 we do that. Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, what about like bathroom remodeling? Yes, ma'am, we do bathroom remodeling. Okay. Um, well, we have a, there, we, what we want to do is we've got a couple of rooms that the laminate floor needs to be ripped up and then vinyl flooring put down. Okay, um, yeah, we can do that. And then the bathroom, we're looking to, you know, at least get a quote on remodeling. Um, mm -hmm. Like just enlarging it a little bit into like a room next to it. Okay, and, yeah, we could do that for you. Yeah, and the wiring, um, we were told it needed, possibly needed a ground wire. Um, it's only... Now, by the way, that call was about eight minutes. I really didn't want to listen to the whole thing, but I just wanted you to hear how Willie answers the phone and how eager he is absolutely to make the customer happy. The next call comes in from another handyman who um, I actually like very much, uh, but you know, we've all discussed, and he knows this very well, that he does not do well on the phone. And I told him, listen, at some point, I think we're either going to have to hire someone or um, we're going to take the calls if we really want this to work for him. But I want you to hear the, the difference in the call. And, and, and hopefully if you're doing what he's doing, you will stop. And especially if you're thinking about hiring me, it does not help the cause. Thank you for calling. To ensure the highest level of customer care, this call may be recorded. Please hold while we connect your call. This is how not to handle a lead. The first one was how to handle a lead. Rose is out of construction. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, hello. Um, I'm calling for your handyman service. Okay. Yes, can you call, please? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I'll give you a call. No, I'll give you a call. I'll give you a call. Okay. Hey. Service? Yes. Do you cut service the West Philadelphia area? 
Yes, we do. Okay. Do you handle something as simple as putting a kitchen cabinet drawer together? Hundred percent. They yes, are great. It came off the track, and I went to Home Depot and got a new track, but I'm having difficulty getting that thing together. How much? Is that all you need? Is that? Well, no. Also, the dining room doorknob has come off, and it keeps. You know, it's kind of, you kind of screw it back together, and it keeps the coming, dropping off, and I can't get the door open. So right. those All right. Well, what I'll do is I'll call you later. I'll get your address and everything, and I'll probably stop for a couple of days or a day from now. Um, are you are you actually on a on a cell phone? No. no. All right. I'll call you back because I'm a, I'm a little busy now. Oh, okay. Wait, so you charge thirty five dollars to do both jobs? No, it'll probably be around 100. Okay. And what is your name? My name is Nick. Nick? Okay, so I'll know when you call back. All right, thank All right, you. What's, right. what's your name? Jackie. All right, Jackie. Okay, so I think I think you guys um, have clearly got the point here. You know, I mean, obviously the lady was even still interested in doing business with him because she said, what's your name? So I'll know when you call me back. But you could hear the disappointment in her voice when he said, I'll probably call you later. I'm really busy right now. I was like, wow, you know. I want you to be hungry when those leads come in. You know, I worked very hard to make that phone ring. So, you know, I'm 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 hoping that you could see the way the the two different styles, two different approaches, both of them got a, a lead generated today, right? Both of them had an opportunity today to make money and uh both of them handled it very differently. This is Kip Charles, your sales guru. Hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.